All right, time to clear the air. Finally back home. Um, I'm still at the nursing home at night so they can watch over me, but um, my wife checked me out today and brought me home. So I thought I'd do this little snippet to kind of start off my uh, recap video, okay? A lot of you been guessing. A lot of you thought I was dead. Uh, I feel like I've been dead for two months, but but that's beside the point. So my vision's a little blurry. Uh, it, it looks like I can see you, but I can't. Um, so I'm just baking it really well. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So the way the way it all started, I'm sitting at the dining table and I am playing on my iPad and looking for my next recipe. And then right here, big pressure. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, maybe it's a maybe it's, I don't know, an earache or a sinus pressure or something. And the pressure gets intense and then it fills up my ear and then goes up my head and down my neck. And I'm like, okay. This ain't allergies, this ain't sinuses, this is something more serious. So I called Jack Jr. I said, um, said Jack Jr., uh, well, I said Jr., I need uh, you to take me to the hospital. I think I'm having a stroke. I've never had one awake before. This is the first time ever. So I finally, not that it's some amazing feat, but I finally um, felt what a stroke felt like, and it was not fun. So... He drove to my house about 100 miles an hour from his house and threw me in the car and got me to the ER and, you know, and here I am, you know. I, I barely remember. I have video clips to show you. I put together a video so that I could, I documented as much as I could when I had, a, had an idea or a thought or wanted to show you what it was like on my side. But, um but yeah, so Junior came and saved the day. And uh, so I made it to the hospital and haven't been out since yet. Haven't been home full time. Um, I now am allowed to be checked out, go to the movies. As you guys can see, I'm doing movie reviews again. I uh, haven't done food reviews yet. Jack and the Go is coming back. So I guess this is the start of documenting my, um, my rehab. So I'm at the hospital. I'm on level three. It's a program, like an award-winning program here in Tennessee at, uh, at Skyline Hospital. And uh, they basically, it's like boot camp. They come in early, they wake you up, like they'll be in in a few minutes. It's like 6.30 in the morning, but they'll wake me up, they'll feed me breakfast. <laughs> Excuse me. So one of the signs of my stroke uh, are hiccups. So it's gonna be very hard to film. So we're gonna work through that. You're gonna hear hangups the whole time I'm talking. So bear with me. This is day two. <laughs> it's weird because, you know, they're gonna come in, they're gonna take care of me, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm an up and down guy at night. Like, I'll go to the bathroom like two or three times, and in this condition, I can't. So I have to rely on the nursing staff, which is very humbling. So anyway, these hiccups have been going on for five days straight. Okay, so these are just kind of my first world struggles. Okay, I'm back on the regular food. So I look at this and go, this is the best diabetic meal. I can have the sausage. I can have the eggs. I can't have the fruit. The muffin is the last thing I ate before I... Blueberry muffin is literally the last thing I ate before I stroked out. Cheerio, Cheerios is just death for me. And the sugar in the milk, I just can't have. And my coffee, forget it. My wife has already laid claims to that. So, I'm having eggs and sausage for breakfast.
All right, guys, so basically, they're assisting me in making movements in my foot that I haven't been making in four years. So I'm supposed to be, be working with the impulse, electrical impulses. So as it allows me to bend my foot towards my face, I'm supposed to continue to help the, the, the connect, connection back and forth 15, 15 times and then hopefully we'll wake up the movements that have never, never been working for four years <coughs> to strengthen that area. Reach forward, open hand. Oh my Close God. hand. Retract. Oh my God. I haven't used that in... That's awesome. Let's I haven't used that in four years. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Ready? Let's give it another try. Yeah. Okay. We're going to start with reaching forward. Okay. <laughs> Reach forward. Okay. Close hand. Okay. Open hand. Okay, guys, so I did this kind of like a puzzle. It's like a, um, it's a bunch of different images. And as you can see, I was also select where all the bells were. <clears throat> so you can see the green bell on the bottom was the first one. But this shows how my eyes are working right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it shows how the pattern I went to find all the bells. It just it tracked the whole process which is interesting you can tell them how attentive i am vertically horizontal everything shift yep step. and step okay shift and step okay shift under that way yep. and step shift and step Both weight, weight on both legs. Ha. Oops. Okay. There we go. Hey, come, what the frick? <laughs> How many fat fingers do I need? You're doing good. You're doing good. So keep this knee straight. No, you're good. Keep this knee straight. And try your best to have your hands off. And look and see your reflection too. If you see yourself leaning too much, try to fix it.